what's up guys I have this new camera that I want to share with you guys it is a ODRVM um, action camera I ordered off of Amazon for $56 um, I had got it because um, I wanted to try to shoot nail videos with it <clears throat> and also do some other things um, I have my charger thing in here um, but I also wanted it um, to do other things with like when my kids go swimming because it's waterproof and so on and so forth um, it came in this really nice package it's a hard case so that's nice it even has um, nice zippers with the OD um, RVM on there and this really nice comfortable handle and then when you open it up, this is what it looks like. <clears throat> Everything was in a certain spot. I've, I took it out. I've used it and tested it out already. Um, so it's kind of like jumbled up in here. But everything that came with it is in here. It came with a total of, I want to say 19 pieces. Um, when the camera arrived, it was on this side, and it did come inside the waterproof case, and I had the hardest time getting this case off, because I just could not figure it out. Um, but I love this case. It's waterproof. You can, um, still use the buttons with the case on. We have the front button here, which is the power button, um, the record or camera button, and the up and down buttons. <clears throat> how you get to your like settings and stuff like that which I'll show you um, so to open this if you can see the arrow right here you have to slide this little thing over and while you're holding that over you have to lift right here so with me having nails on that was difficult for me and I figured out a way to get it off easily so you do that it pops right open and the camera's in there nice and snug. As you can see, it doesn't even fall out when I open it. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. So this is how the case looks without the camera in it. That's the back. Okay, so... <clears throat> this is the camera. It's very small. I believe the screen is a two inch LCD um, it has where you put the SD card where you charge it and then I believe this is where the HDMI cable goes um, this is your battery it comes with two batteries it came with one in the camera and I'm gonna pull all this stuff out it came with an extra one which I still have here in the package. So that was nice for it to come with two batteries. Um, here's the up and down volume buttons I, were talk I was talking about. The mode button, power button on the front. You can see the lens. Let's see, I will turn it on. So right now it's in camera mode. If you guys can see too well here. So that's camera mode. I'm going to if I push it, it's recording now. And it has the <clears throat> the amount of battery you have left down there in the left-hand corner. Um, the date displayed and the time, I believe it's red because it par it par it's probably telling me, well, it may be red because I'm recording. And then that other button, the, uh, under the red one is for when it needs to be charged. I think this one lights up. Um, I've only used it like twice, so I'm not too used to it. Oh, let me stop recording. Um, for camera... Let's see, I can't, yeah, here's the photo, so you can use the buttons to go to different things. You have playback, you have burst, you have time lapse, burst, photo, and let me see, I'm going to go to settings, 
you click the mode button and you have your video resolution looping video time stamp exposure photo resolution burst photo time lapse continuous lapse power frequency language date and time sounds indicator which is like uh, the camera shutter and the uh, sound of when you're clicking those buttons um, upside down hmm. I'm not sure what that is there's screensaver mode the power saver format reset and version which is action cam w9 and I don't know what that 160 105 is so that's settings let's see oh try to get out of here uh, Go screensaver. Oh, okay, so screensaver is the time. <laughs> I can't remember how you get to. There's a way you can get up to that X, but. You may have to go all. Oh, shoot. There we go. Okay, so then hit the top button. Alright, so we're back there. Um, it has a Wi-Fi mode, which is what I liked about it because when you turn, if you press and hold down this, uh, the volume button, you can go to Wi-Fi mode. It's waiting for connection. So what you do is download an app to your phone. And when you download that app, um, <clears throat> you will be able to uh, see what's going on through the camera lens through your cell phone or through your tablet and that's what I really like so if you're shooting nail videos like I mostly do you would be able to have the camera um, it's hard to see be able to have the camera pointed at your nails while filming or looking through your cell phone so that's another good thing that I like about it. Like, you know, you can place it and you can hit record on your phone. You can snap pictures from your phone as well. So that's a really cool um, feature to it. So let me turn this off. You push and hold down again and turn the Wi-Fi off. Um, this shows you what you've recorded. Press the top button to play. And that's what was recording while I was showing you guys what it looked like while recording. If you can see. So yeah, you can see at the bottom uh that it tells you you know different things you could do you can rewind you can fast forward you can pause stuff like that um you can scroll to your next videos these is from a recent birthday party i went to for my daughter i recorded video um these were test videos and I don't know, that one's messed up. I don't know how to get rid of that. I don't know what the heck happened. <laughs> um, so it's playing another video here. And you could kind of see there, it showed my phone. And I was recording it um, so I could see what I was doing through my phone. <laughs> Let me see if I can get to the pictures. Okay, pictures, scroll down, click it, and then these are the pictures. They are nice and clear. 
It's a picture of when I finished my nails. So it does have go good quality picture, good quality video. Um, <clears throat> you press the front button to get to your picture and video. All right, so that's turning off. So what I'm going to do now is show you what came in here. Um, <clears throat> these just fell out, but it came with these three straps, different sizes. I believe these are for like either helmets or if you attach it to the bike and whatnot. Um, they lift open and when you put the strap through, you can clamp it down to tighten it. It came with its own charger cord. It's not a very long cord. I would say maybe a three feet cord. That's the charger cord, which is basically like a regular USB. Um, it charges pretty quick too. This is one of the attachments. I'll lay out all the attachments here so y'all can see. This is, um, like, goes like this. This is what I put it on to use it on my tripod. I pop it in here, and you can, you know, put it on your tripod this way or this way. So maybe that's what the upside down is for. Because if you attach it this way and it's upside down, you can put it in that upside down mode. But that's how it looks with the attachment on there. I'm not sure what this part is for, what else it would attach to. Um, I have a couple pieces out of the bag. This is the uh, bicycle attachment. I know that much. <laughs> There's so many, I'm not sure what everything is. Um, it has these things with the 3M sticky things. The battery, it also has a lens cloth. So that's what the case looks like empty. It's just a foam to keep it all protected. And then it has a little fishnet part where it had more stuff in it. Um, I did have to separately get the um, SD card. Um, when I, when you go through Amazon, sometimes if you scroll down, you'll see you can get, you know, like two things they suggest together. So there was the camera and an SD card, um, you can get together and that's what I got. So I think the SD card was like anywhere from 10 to 12 to 13 bucks. So, um, I think it, with the camera and the SD card, my total came to about, 70 or something like that and it was like three dollars tax so 73 somewhere around there um came with these and oh this may be i wonder if this this might slide in there some kind of way for something. I don't know, but then there's a tripod thing there. There's not one here, though. Hmm. I'm not sure, but... It has that and then some more of the sticky things in there. Um, this part, which I think is a part of a safety case like the back door I think it's called and is that it and I think that's everything so all these different attachments this one and then the bottom so yeah and then it has the um, action cam pamphlet user user manual um, it is a 10 a 1080p full HD 
um, 170 degree wide angle lens, 1.5 hours of battery, um, waterproof to 30 meters. The SD card that I got is the 32 gigabyte, which gives 240 minutes video, the video resolution. 1080 30 FPS slash 720p 6 OFPS. I don't know, <clears throat> but this kind of shows you what the um, different attachments how they go. You know what I mean? It shows you how you can use them. So, this is the one that I have on it now. The top one is the waterproof case. Oh, this is what these flat ones go to. That's how those work. So it would look like that where it says equal. You guys can see. And then it has berries of different helmet attachments, which is what the straps are for. And then there's the handlebar attachment. And then more, oh, si uh, it could go sideways on the helmet. That's cool. Um, I really don't like is the sound. Um, the sound isn't very loud. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. I, I'm for sure that I have it turned up all the way. I may need to double check that and see. But that's about the only thing that I don't like is the sound. Um, the quality of the pictures and the videos are good so far. Um, I've had a couple problems with it that I am going to contact the company just to see if there is anything that I'm doing wrong so they can let me know exactly how to work it um, or why it's doing what it is, which is it froze up a few times and I had to take the battery out to turn it to get it to turn back on because it was just like... It's totally froze so other than that um, I mean it's a nice camera um, I don't too it's not exactly gonna work for um, the other things that I want to do so I'll be ordering another camera but it's perfect for the kids they love it they love you know they want to get it on their bikes and use it they want to get it underwater the waterproof case does work I did test that I tested it underwater in the sink and I tested it in a pool and it did not get wet it didn't mess up at all so this waterproof case absolutely does the trick it does work um, but they they just want to have lots of fun with it so this is probably going to be given to the kids and I may just use it um, you know like I said for my nail video so I can see what I'm doing while I'm recording if I can figure out how to get the video um, I can download the video to my phone but I just for some reason it won't play it says it's unable to play and I'm not sure if that's from the app the camera or if it's just my phone so I have to find that out but yeah you know I mean it's a cheap you know, no name brand of the GoPro, the No Pro, China Pro, um, Faux Pro, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, if you're looking for something inexpensive for an action cam and you're the per type of person that, um, you know, does a lot of biking, hiking, and different sports and all of that, I would for sure just go ahead with this because it has many functions. You can get your videos from the camera on to your computer and different things so I would say check it out 55 bucks you can't go wrong I picked the color blue because I didn't want the basic like black or gray camera so um yeah and it's really tiny y'all I wasn't really expecting it to be that small but you know so far so good um I have to play with it a little bit more to kind of decide on my full final thought but other than that um that's it I Thank you guys for watching my video on the e the ODRVM HD 1080p Wi-Fi action camera. Thanks guys. Please remember to thumbs up and click that subscribe button.